So when people think of fat tissue, we typically just think of fat as this inert storage depot, basically a fat cell that is just pulling in fat or a glucose and turning it to fat and then just holding on to it, just storing energy. And then when the body needs the energy, like for example, when insulin is low, now it can start to release the energy to be burned by the muscles, for example. And, and that, that is true, that is typical body fat kind of acts just like I described. But, but once again, it is totally at the, at the whims of insulin. When insulin is up, the fat cell is pulling in energy to store. When insulin is down, it is giving up its energy to be used. However, uh, there is a type of fat in our body called brown fat that is, does not behave the same way. Now, firstly, the differences are obvious, and I do mean obvious. You can, when we do these kinds of studies in animals, you can see the actual difference, and the same thing goes with humans, in the color and appearance of the fat. Normal fat tissue, like the fat that we pull from our, like in my lab, we do what's called fat biopsies, and we pull a little piece of fat from right by the belly button. That is very kind of whitish, yellowish fat. Just like you think when you look at a steak or the fat in, our, in the meat that we eat, it's, it's white. Mm -hmm. Brown fat is much more enriched with mitochondria. And so these brown fat cells are involved in breaking down nutrients, burning energy, but not because the cell needs the energy. In other words, it's not because the person's exercising a lot that the brown fat cells are burning through so much fat and glucose. No, in, in, it's in fact a very wasteful process, although metabolically that becomes an advantage in our environment. But the brown fat is burning fat and glucose just to create heat 